Hey guys, it's Zach. Back in 2012, I was living in the USA, and I remember spending a good 20 minutes at Best Buy with my iPhone plugged into a pair of Beats by Dr. Dre over the ear headphones. And I was going through every song on my playlist, trying to find something that would sound pleasant. At the end of the day, I found the sound muddy and the bass was just way too overpowering that vocals and instruments just weren't easily distinguishable. It was at that point that I turned my back on beats. Until now. Flash forward to 2016, and now I'm in the market for a pair of wireless headphones for when I'm moving around the house or the office. So after reading some positive reviews about the Solo 2s, I decided to bite the bullet and give Beats another try. At a retail price of 400 Australian dollars, these are in no way a cheap pair of headphones. And we all know that a lot of what we're paying for is the premium associated with the brand and their marketing. When it comes to the unboxing experience, Beats are known for doing a terrific job of making you feel like you're unpacking a premium high-end product. It was enjoyable to unbox the multiple layers of the product packaging. Inside the box, you get a soft carry pouch which contains the Solo 2 wireless headphones, and I'm glad to see that it's in a matching colour. Other than that, you get an auxiliary cable with inline mic and audio controls, instruction manual, carry beat clip, and a micro USB charging cable. When it comes to build quality, I found the headphones to be of reasonable quality and comparable to other headphones in the $200 price range. The hinges have a good feel to them and overall appear very sturdy. I was most pleased with the ear cups which were super soft and provided a lovely cushion when sitting over my ears. I was able to charge the Beats in under 2 hours and the manufacturer claims up to 12 hours of battery life. Pairing the Beats to my iPhone was hassle free and when it came to audio quality, I'm glad to say that my experience from 2012 was not repeated. I tested the Beats in both Bluetooth mode and with the auxiliary cable, and audio quality was consistent in both tests. Out of curiosity, I performed a comparison between the Audio-Technica M50Xs and the Beats, and my conclusions were that the Beats were slightly heavier on the bass, but vocals and acoustic instruments were still clear and distinguishable in the tracks I played through. Now in a blind test, I believe it would be really difficult for the average consumer to pick out any significant sound differences between the M50Xs and the Beats. Let's wrap things up. At a retail price of $400, the Beats perform much better than I expected with a more balanced sound signature when compared to previous iterations. Now you are still paying for the brand as the build and sound quality was more comparable to non-Bluetooth headphones around the $200 price range. If you're willing to pay the premium, I'm sure you'll come to enjoy the comfort and freedom of listening to your music without wires. Well, my name is Zach and I'll see you guys in the next video.